Hello, and welcome to the Pokemon Crown Patch 1.9 Overview. My name is Common Sky, and I've been playing Pokemon Crown since it released on the 1st of 2023, and let me tell you, it has been a blast. The developers have been on top of this game, fixing bugs, visual issues, and balancing left and right. They're an amazing team to bring us such a wonderful game. Here are the latest and final patch notes for Beta 1. You can find all relative information in the Discord, I'll have the link down in the descriptions below. To get started, let's begin with the biggest changes to the game and work our way down. Time skips will be on the video if you just want to skip to a certain section. Added and fixed. Updated Dogwood's Pokemon list. Added incense items for encounter control. Made the puzzle to find the plane a little less obtuse. Updated type guide text. World map glitch in Lake Lock Home fix. Buffs. Trainer level cap raised from 30 to 31 via Coliseum. Reduced Star Shard merit cost from 999 to 400 merits. Reduced Flight Master price from 100 gold to 50 gold. Berry Soil reset time reduced from 5 hours to 2 hours in game time. Nurse. Super effective and resisted attacks got a nerf from 25% to a 15% modifier. Immunities are now counted as resisted damage. Black market purchases Pokemon for more gold, meaning it costs more to get a black market Pokemon. Now let's move on to the individual Pokemon changes and fixes. You can find a nice online Pokédex created by the user Clay at pokemon-crown-dogwood.onreader.com. Link will be down in the description. They did a wonderful job adding Pokemon, moves, and locations. It's a big help. Starting off, we have Grovile. Grovile will now evolve at level 31 instead of level 36. Next, Charmeleon got a bug fix, dealing correct damage now. Haunter specials every 6 attacks instead of 7 now. Fracture move power was reduced from 60 to 50 per hit. Togekiss got a special fix, it always deals damage now. Togekiss special always hits on every 4 hit instead of every 5 hit now. Marowak boost reduced to 10%. Amara's auto attacks freeze for 0 0.1 second longer. That's pretty good, so it'll be at 35. Chub Chew's energy rate changed from 5 attacks to 3 attacks. Magna Zone got a fix, and now it will boost itself. Parasect specials every 4 hits instead of every 7. And Carcadet range got a plus one. Finally, we have some type combination changes. Normal types. Tier 1, fixed energy maximums. Tier 2, fixed energy gain. Fighting. Tier 2 gets plus 10% chance to gain an extra auto attack. Tier 3 also grants tier 1 bonus as a team-wide benefit. Water. Tier 2 no longer boosts energy regeneration. Tier 3 boosts energy regeneration as described. Flying. 
Tier 2, 10% crit damage to 5% crit damage. Tier 3, stun duration reduced from 0.5 to 0.34 per second. Poison, tier 2, every 5th auto attack to every 4th auto attack. Ground, tier 1, agility reduction fixed. Tier 1, fix the bug where ground bonus 2 was doing nothing. Gravity increased from 10 to 20%. Tier 2, damage per unit in column increased 20% to 40%. Rock. Tier 1. Fix the Stealth Rocks effect. Tier 1. Requires 3 units to 2 units. 5% to 6% per Pokemon. Tier 3. Reduce from 5 seconds to 3 seconds. Dragon. Tier 1 boost from 5% to 1%. Tier 1 mark damage reduced from 4% to 2%. Marks only deal bonus damage if you are a dragon type. Tier 2 is now a type bonus only, 1% attack to 1 attack, flat. Tier 3 stat boosts are not applied. Fix the bug where melee dragons would special from range sometimes. Ghost. Tier 2. Fix an issue where ghosts weren't healing when damaging feared enemies. Fear can now be layered instead of resetting the timer. They add to it. Okay, so it just gets more potent. Fairy. Tier 1 healing reduced to 1% per fairy. It'll still cap out at 6%. Tier 3 properly doubles boost. Was boosting much more than it should have. Thank you all for tuning in to this 1.9 overview. It has been a blast. I'm excited to continue playing and keep trying to get these nuzlocks and playthroughs going this game has absolutely stolen my heart and i hope it steals yours too uh links will be all down in the description link to their discord uh go ahead and jump in their discord there's a ton of help people in there um before i forget be sure to redeem these codes and lock homes in they're gonna be a huge boost to your adventure they're gonna be on the screen to my side and also, as one more note, they're going to be resetting the PvP ladder and holding their very first PvP event. Uh, top spots on the ladder will be claimed by the following awards. Top 1 will get the title Grandmaster. Top 2 will get the title Strategist. Top 3 will get the title Tactician. Top 5 will get 5,000 gold in Beta 2 and 5 Star Shards. Each tier is rewarded from the tiers below it. Thank you, Pokemon Crown, for being such a wonderful game. I'm looking forward to seeing what all the updates come with and where this game goes. Thank you all for tuning in. Hope you have a wonderful day.